So in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at Pulse Chain, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to add Pulse Chain to your MetaMask wallet so that you can see how many Pulse you're gonna get when Pulse Chain launches. And I'm also gonna show you how to add custom tokens so you can check the copies of the ERC20 tokens that you're gonna get as well. And before I get into the video, I just wanna refer back to my original video from around about eight months ago. I created this one here, Opportunity or Scam is Pulse Chain a scam? I was fairly new to crypto at the time, uh, but my general conclusion from that video was that Pulse Chain wasn't a scam. Uh, so I did sacrifice and so did my brother and so did a number of other people that I know sacrifice as well. And I've been getting a few messages from those guys lately saying, when is Pulse Chain gonna launch? And when it does launch, how can I actually check my sacrifice? So that's why I wanted to make this video. And if we go to Richard Hart's Twitter, his uh, recent tweet suggests we might be looking at mid-May. So mid-May is still the target for the world's largest free airdrop. The Virgin Free automated market maker bot is working. SAC balances look great. Most SAC complaints are user error. So that's what I wanna show you because most SAC complaints are user error and hopefully this video will help clear some of those things up. If you're not following me on Twitter, you can follow me at Darren and DJN. So make sure you follow me on there. That's the best place to interact with me because as you'll probably see, this video is gonna get caned by the crypto bots. So don't bother heading down to the comments section, but you can smash the like button while you're down there. So here we are, pulsechain.com, the Pulse testnet is live. Um, and the process that I'm gonna show you here is the exact process you're gonna go through when Pulse Chain actually launches so that you can interact with this blockchain. So here we are, we've got all of the details here and anyone that's new to crypto might find this quite confusing. It's understandable, I did initially, but actually what we're gonna do is super straightforward. So the first thing we need to do is add Pulse Chain to MetaMask, and then that will show us how much Pulse we're gonna get and then we're gonna to need to import some custom tokens as well, so you can see the duplicates of your ERC20 tokens. So let's add Pulse Chain first. This is really straightforward. Just go to MetaMask in your browser as you usually would. And at the top here, you have the different networks that are available. So I have the Ethereum mainnet and also Smart Chain, which is of course BSC or Binance. So we wanna add Pulse Chain here, so we add it as a network. So we click the Add Network button. This will then open it up in a new tab for you to populate with the details. So all you've really got to do is copy and paste this based on what is on the Pulse Chain website. So network name, URL, chain ID, currency symbol, etc. So let's go and do this quickly. So we're going to grab the network name there. I'm going to copy that, paste it here. We're then going to grab the uh, RPC URL and we we'll pop that there as well. And then we've got the chain ID of 941. So you guys don't really need to understand this either. All we need to do is just copy and paste. The only thing I will explain briefly is the block explorer URL. You can see this is optional, but I'd recommend including this so that when you do actually make a transaction on the chain, as you can see here, this one is labeled block explorer, it will actually give you a shortcut to view the transaction directly on the chain. So that's why it's useful to include it when adding this custom network. And that is basically it for adding the custom network to MetaMask. So when I click save, you'll see here, we're now operating on the Pulse Chain testnet. So you can flick back and forth between Ethereum and Binance, etc. But we're on the Pulse Chain testnet. And you can see here, my sacrifice is estimated to be just under 26 million Pulse. Now, will that be worth anything? We will find out over the next few months, but it's gonna be interesting either way. You'll also see here that I've got a token called Jiro or Jiro, however you wanna say it. This was me testing, importing a custom token. So I bought some Jiro when it's actually worth something. These tokens are absolutely worthless at the moment. But if you do wanna see your duplicate custom tokens, all you need to do is go on import tokens here and enter the details of the other cryptos that you own that are ERC20 tokens. So for example, if we go to somewhere like CoinGecko, I bought another crypto called Tech, which at one point was worth something. It's not worth anything anymore. And I'm sure you guys are feeling exactly the same with some of these altcoins that we bought last year that are currently pretty much worthless. But if you load up the um, tokens on something like CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap, you'll be able to copy the contract address. So click to copy there. That will add it to the clipboard. Then we just go back to MetaMask. We paste in the contract address. And normally if it's the correct address, it'll automatically populate the symbol and the decimal. If not, you can grab them from the same page. Choose add custom token. And then you can see here it's imported my tech. And then when we click back to the main wallet now, we'll see we've got my pulse, the Jiro, 
and the tech. So that is how you add Pulse Chain to your MetaMask wallet and also import custom tokens. If you found this video useful, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button. If you want to see more from me, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to talk to me, make sure you head over to Twitter at DarrenDGen. And I'll see you guys on Twitter.